Hello and welcome back to Cinnamon Sanctuary. For my new subscribers, and I've noticed a few have come in recently, my name is Sika and I make cooking videos and I also bake sometimes. And welcome to the family. Thank you very much for tuning in and for watching. And today I will be presenting you with these waffles. I have a massive sweet tooth as you may have noticed. So let's get cooking. In terms of the dry ingredients, we'll be needing some flour, sugar, some cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, and some salt. For the wet ingredients, we have some milk in here, as well as some butter milk, a couple of eggs, some vanilla essence, as well as about three quarters of a cup of oil. Now I'm just about to mix up all of the dry ingredients and you may be wondering why I'm also using cornstarch for this recipe. The cornstarch just adds a little extra fluffiness to the waffles. Uh, the baking powder and the baking soda do that anyway, but the cornstarch just gives it that extra fluffiness that is needed when it comes to making waffles. So there's a tip for you. I should also mention the sugar is going to be added in with the wet ingredients as opposed to the dry ingredients. So this is going to be added in with the egg, the milk and the buttermilk as well as the oil. And I'm using oil in this instance because the oil gives the waffles a nice and crispy edge, which the butter wouldn't quite achieve. But of course, if you prefer, you can use butter instead of oil. That's perfectly fine as well. And in terms of the oil, I'm just going in with some vegetable oil, but any oil of your preference would work as well. How many times did I say oil? About 10 times? <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to explain. Anyway, I just went in with the buttermilk and um, we're just going to be mixing this all up and then set this all aside once the oil has been added, again, oil. <laughs> and this is going to be added in with the dry ingredients once it's all mixed up. Let's also not forget the vanilla essence. So this is about half a teaspoon of vanilla essence and we just added that in and mixing it all up. Okay, now we are going to combine everything. So I'm just making a well in the middle of my flour mix, which I thought was completely pointless because the wet ingredients completely submerged the flour mix. I didn't, I didn't really see the point of it, but I did it anyway because, you know, apparently it's a done thing. So we're just going to mix this up very gently and it's really important that you fold your flour into the wet mix very, very gently if you want to achieve nice fluffy waffles. And this goes with any waffle or pancake recipe really. You have to fold your flour in very gently because if you do it too quickly or too fast, you'll end up with really dense waffles, which you don't want. This is all nicely combined now and don't worry if there's a few lumps in your batter, that's perfectly fine. Now I'm just going to set this aside and get the waffle maker ready. So this is what we'll be working with today. I'm just waiting for the green light to come on as of I think now. And once that's happened, we can go ahead and start adding the butter to the waffle maker. So in terms of fat, I'm just using this one calorie spray, but any type of fat um, you would like is fine. You can use oil or butter, anything you like is acceptable for this. And I'm just spraying the surfaces and adding my butter. That's about it really. And I'm using about one cup of butter, per, maybe a cup or a cup and a half of butter per portion, but this depends entirely on the type of waffle maker you have. You just have to ensure that you don't add in too much butter because it'll end up spilling. Waffle number one is ready. This took about three minutes and I wish you could smell this. It smelled amazing. It smelled so good. I just had to really control myself and make sure that I don't start eating them. Tip here, if you want to keep your waffles whilst you're making them all, make sure that you put them on a baking rack because if you stack them on top of each other straight away, they'll just end up really soft because of the condensation. So that's just a quick tip here to make sure that you have nice, crispy and fluffy waffles. Our golden brown beautiful waffles are now complete. I managed to get six out of the butter mix and they came out perfectly. They came out so well. 
nice and crisp on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside this is the perfect waffle recipe trust me and i've tried a few of them and i find that this one beats all of them by a mile by far so the cornstarch as i said adds this extra fluffiness it makes such a difference to the taste as well and i love having these with some fruits as well as some maple syrup to be extra naughty i drizzle that on top and um, yeah this is the end result this was so delicious the kids just tucked in and they couldn't they couldn't get enough honestly <laughs> and they're really good to freeze as well if you can't finish up the whole batch they are very well frozen so you can put them in the freezer and use them the next day put them either in the toaster or let them cook in the oven for about five minutes five to seven minutes and they'll come out really well i really hope you enjoyed this guys hit the like button if you did don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.